Hey there, what's up everybody? It's Maria Marquis, and I thought I would just take a moment to make a quick video to walk through something that people ask me about all the time, which is subtables. How do I make subtables in Coda? And there are really two different ways, and it depends on what you're trying to do. So the first kind of subtable that you can make is right inside any of your canvas columns. You can just click on that, open it up, and just like you would in a Coda doc, type slash and table, right? You can then go ahead and add a new table or make this a view of another table that you have somewhere else. And then you can work right in here just like you want to do. So maybe I want to make a view of tasks. Boom. Now I've got this table inside of another table. Now this works just like any other table view combination that you have in Coda, but there's something you can do that's a little bit cooler that is powered by a formula. And oftentimes I find that this is usually what people are really trying to do when they're making a sub table, which is uh, a table that's maybe connected to whatever's happening in the row that it's in. Maybe we've got projects in a table and we want all of the tasks for each project in that table. So there's a really easy way to do this. I'm just going to get rid of this little guy just like so. And the way that we would do it is actually when we're creating a column. So in this case, I have three tables that are all looking up to each other. I have this tasks table. Notice we have a lookup column to project, which is looking up to this little guy here. Then we have a lookup column here for programs, which is looking up to this table right down there. And again, a lookup column is just a column type. You can choose lookup and then whatever table you want to be able to pull from. So we've got this little hierarchy of programs that have projects that have tasks. Now, since we have this lookup column set up, I can do something super, super fast, which is when I'm creating a new column, I can choose this referenced by, and this will only show up when I have lookup columns that are connecting things together. So notice this is used in that uh, projects table right below. So I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, let's pull that through. And this is going to show me every project that these tasks are connected to. So that automatically is happening. Boom. It's all set for me. I can do the same thing here with projects, right? I've actually done it already, but I could click on this, choose reference by, and then pull through all of the tasks for each project, just like so, boom, and that's how I got this particular setup. So let's go ahead, just get rid of these double examples here. Boop, just get rid of it. Boop, just get rid of it, ta-da. So now what I can do is I can actually convert these little formula columns that I made using that reference by into a sub table. So I'm going to do it first here in projects. I'm going to click on this little expand row option, boop, just like so. And notice they're showing up as tables. So how I did this is I just clicked on the shish kebab. I chose edit layout. And for any of those formula columns, there'll be this little toggle here and you can choose to toggle on table. And now it all of a sudden is set up. It's a window into that table. Any changes I make here, like, Hey, this is actually now completed right? is automatically going to show up everywhere else. So that formula is linking these things together. And you can decide if you want to see it in that chip view or in that table view. Again, just by clicking on expand row, here we go. I can choose this little shish kebab, choose edit layout. And instead of these little chip views, I can toggle on the table views. And now I can be working in here just like I would anywhere else in Coda. So this is really the best way to do it because all of that is formulaically connected. It's going to be more performant and also really allow you to have that window into all of those lookups that connect your information together. So hopefully that helps just a quick walkthrough into how sub tables work. Again, start with your lookup column. Then you can go ahead and click boom choose reference by and pull from any of the tables where that particular lookup column is used and pull it in automatically connected to whatever's in the row. And all the formulas are done behind the scenes for you. And if you ever want to take a look, you just click on the little F, choose edit formula, and you can see we are filtering using this row. All right, have some fun, make some sub tables, and I'll see you next time.